California is not turning back, not now, not ever. His truth is marching on. Well, I was very pleased with the governor's strong message that California is not going to go backwards. So we're going to continue to work on the progress that we've done in his first six years. And I look forward to being a partner with him, uh, whether that's investing our infrastructure to make sure uh, we're alleviating uh, the traffic commute for people in my district, building new schools, making sure we're investing in our UCs and Cal States to accommodate uh, the next generation of students, or making sure that we're going to continue to be a beacon of hope uh, for people across our state, especially those that have immigrant backgrounds, and especially those that are feeling a little concerned right now, that aren't sure about the future of their health care, that aren't sure about how the economy is going to continue to grow and include them in our prosperity. And so to have the governor come out with a very strong message that it's optimistic, but also realizes the challenges ahead, I think was something that uh, really was, for me at least, uh, very good news and something I look forward to working with him on. And the Constitution of the great state of California. I'm also very pleased today that the governor swore in our next Attorney General, Javier Becerra. He's someone that I knew very well as a congressman from L.A. Uh, he's a real leader on issues of consumer protection and is chair of the Banking Finance Committee. I look forward to working with him to strengthen our consumer protection laws to make sure that we uh, do everything we can to protect consumers in our marketplace from being taken advantage of, uh, whether that's through fraud or data breaches. And I'm just really looking forward to working with him. I know he's going to be a great advocate for the people of California.